So actually, while the light laminar head is drawing, I forgot, I should show you how to seal these small areas, which is, you know, basically the same thing as trying to seal the entire head. It's just concentrate your tapping on those areas with the unsealed, newly applied paint. So the acrylic paint has dried on the eyebrows that I've touched up and the acrylic I've added here to the sideburn. So now I'm going to take the same sponge, smear, evenly coat that side. I'm going to concentrate on this corner right here to make it wet. And then I'm just going to dab it. Dab, dab, dab. Touch, touch, touch. And of course, the the old face up that was already on here should be completely sealed, which I, you know, I've done this face up using this sponge method also. But I'm going to be very careful and just concentrate on the brows. So I'm going to tap those areas. And because this was, I only used acrylic paint to do these touch-ups, no color was picked up because that acrylic paint did dry completely. It's different when you use pastels. You'll, you'll see that there will be some pigment that is picked up. Um, but to me, that's like the excess pigment that wasn't clinging onto the surface of the sealant. So let me just add a little bit more here. That's, that's the touch-up. So I really like this method for doing, you know, touch-ups like that. To me, it's fast and easy. I don't have to go outside. I don't have to spray the whole head. Um, before, it was a really big hassle, and it really made me not look forward to doing face-ups. I'm very happy for this method. So, okay, I'm going to put this head back. And I'm still letting this dry for another two, three minutes, so I will be back for that after I've done the blushing. So I'm back. Um, this is just the base layer. I've started putting some idea of where I want the eyebrows to be. I've drawn a little outline of the crease because on this particular head, the crease above the eyelid, or the crease, the eyelid of the crease above the eyes is so shallow. I was starting to lose where it was once I was darkening some shadows in there with the blush, so I just um, placed that with some watercolor pencil. Um, and I just added some color here and there. Now I'm going to seal this. Um, if you do this eye putty method and you, you, um, I would always remove the eye putty every time you put on another layer of sealant. That way some of the sealant gets into the, the rims around the eyes because you don't want that to stay uh, exposed without any sealant on. So now I'm just going to take my sponge. I'm actually going to start using a clean side. Double check that it's clean. I'm going to apply some sealant on that. So you will see that there will be some pickup um, of this, the pastel pigments. So I like to pinch it a little bit so it gets round like that. And I'm going to concentrate on the areas where the darkest pigments are, so around the eyes and the lips and the eyebrows. I'm going to, remember, dab very lightly. So, so I've just ran it across the eyebrows. Also use a sponge. Uh, keep calling it sponge. You can also use a swab to apply the thin layer of liquid and spread that around so it doesn't leave any globs. Make sure there's no dust. You can pick up any dust off the sponge with a toothpick. Just going to. So, pick, there is very little uh, 
pigment coming off when I apply this. Um, that Usually there's more. I think it because I, I use this big fluffy brush after I'm done with my pastels. Um, when I apply a new color, I always remove as, all the excess off so the pigment that's clinging to the texture of the sealant, it isn't being lifted onto the sponge, which is actually a good thing. I'm going to do another layer of pastels. I'm going to really darken it, maybe use some black because I want to show you what that looks like when the pigment is being lifted and how much difference that makes to the actual face, which is minimum, really. So. Make sure you have good lighting. You can tell if you're um, dabbing too much on and it really shouldn't be shiny. It shouldn't be too shiny, at least. So now I'm going to let that dry. Oops, I've got some dust there. You can pick that up. So now I'm going to let that dry, and I'm going to apply another layer of pastels. Okay, so here's the second layer of just intensifying some of the colors. I add some black and we'll see if that black picks up. I feel like with this method, if you really want, uh, depending on the quality of your pastels and how black you really need those areas to be, um, I would say, so I use this uh, black powdered pastel here, here on the eyelids, um, but they're not as black as they can be. I did uh, actually put some pink powder over it so that might have that might have muted the intensity of that black pigment. Um, so I did work on darkening the eyebrows, made the lips more um, pigmented, and I added a lot more blushing to the cheeks. So now we're going to set aside the pastel powder, and we're going to do that new layer of sealant. I'm going to shake the bottle and put in some new sealant into the plastic bowl. I'm going to use a new side, this new clean side here, and smear on a new layer. I'm going to start off here in the eye wells where you've got the darkest areas. We'll see if that picks up. And remember to tap lightly. Go over the eyebrows. So far nothing yet. I've got like maybe a few. Can't tell that's dirt, that's pigment. <laughs> um, Use a new side and double check that again, see if anything picks up. We'll start doing an all over coverage. So I've got this surface here, all damp. Just lightly tap. Kind of, um, it's very lightly pink, so it doesn't pick up. It didn't pick up a lot of the blush. I don't know if you can see that. It's very light remnants of pink coming across, um, but it isn't smearing anything. So let's put in another layer, and then I can start finally doing more watercolor pencil and some acrylic paint onto this face up. this dry. So I've applied some acrylic paint and some more watercolor pencil. It also added texture, gave a whole smackle of freckles, 
Um, I randomly put this pattern. <laughs> it was originally meant as a tattoo, but um, so now I'm going to add like the last three layers of the liquid sealant to sponge that onto his face, and then I'm going to put some gloss on the lips and on top of the eyes, and then that's basically it. So I'll fast forward this part here. the finished face up all done it's got the final layers of the sealant and I've glossed the lips the upper eyelid and the lower waterline and there you've got it so that's all sealed together nothing's coming off I've popped some eyes in and that's basically that sponge sealant technique uh, a few things to note I have not tried any other liquid sealants um, this Liquitex matte varnish is the only one I've tried so far using this method. I am not sure how this would react if you were trying to layer it on top of another aerosol sealant. For example, if you had a pre-existing face-up, uh, maybe from a company or from another face-up artist, and they used a, seal a spray sealant. I'm not sure how this would react on top of it. I also don't know what would happen if I were to use MSC or some book sealant on top of this, what, what would happen if it would become cloudy or if it wouldn't react right. Um, but so yeah, for just all of my face up so far, this you can see this head here, um, Milton's face up, my Soldal Vito, Vito Azrael, I've used all, all the Liquid Tex matte varnish to layer and seal it. I've used it on my Ring Doll Menghe, who is Kane, and my doll it's Oscar, which is Saren. And I'm pretty much going to be using this method for the rest of my dolls whenever I do their face-ups. So that's basically that. I just want to remind you, always tap. Do not smear the sealant with the sponge. Tap lightly. Um, coat everywhere. Uh, make sure you let layers dry completely in between. Um, I do want to mention also that this uh, using a cosmetic sponge with the liquid liquid sealant. I got that off of Den of Angels. I saw a thread. Um, someone was asking about alternatives to aerosol sealant, I think. I'll leave a link to that forum thread, so if any of you have a Den of Angels account, you can go check that out. And you can also ask me questions. Uh, I've only done maybe less than 10 face-ups with this method, but um, if you have questions, I'll do my best to answer them. So, yeah, touch-ups, full face-ups. Uh, I do encourage you to try it out. Do try it on practice heads, maybe. Or So, yeah, that's this. I hope this is really helpful for you, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!